hello everyone uh, today in this video we will discuss about the window updates troubleshooting using the log files I will not go through uh, in deeply regarding how we create uh, the uh, software update group and how we deploy it but uh, I will uh, I will show you how we sync the window patch with microsoft site and how we create SVG but not in detail alright so let's start this is my primary site I have a server today in this video we will uh, do the patching of windows server 2016 so guys for the when you are talking about window patching the first thing you need to check is always your you have to come into remoting ok uh, I am supposing that in your environment uh, in your company environment or in your lab you already configured the uh, WSOS server so let me show you you have to configure your WSOS from here ok so you get the WSS uh, here like this one the, the windows server update WSS service you have to configure it and when you will configure it a database will be created with the name sysdb you have to check that and after creating configuring the WSS you have to install your SUP role in SSM then you have to configure your SUP role you have to come here inside add size system roles and you have to choose your SUP role I already configured the SUP so it won't show me SUP role here because it's already been configured so let's connect it here you can see it's showing uh, SUS DB database so it's our WSUS database and this CM is my site database So close it for now. So after you configured successfully your WSUS service and uh, you have configured the SUP, right? So next thing we need to do is we have to you need uh, we need to come in software library and click on software updates and here and you have to click on sync software updates you have to click on here and guys before clicking on this if you have doubt that what are the classification and product you have chosen so you can review those things you have to go to your topmost site if you have cache you have to go on cache if you have primary so you have to click on primary go to configure site components and here software update point here you can reconfigure your SUP settings again sync it will sync from Microsoft update the update files what are the classification these are the classifications critical definition feature and uh, what are the product the product which I choose is only window 10 and uh, window 2016 and uh, as well as office what will be sync schedule super dense rule so here you can <coughs> recheck and reconfigure your SUP so now we have to come to software update and we have to click here sync software update so let's click here 
Mm, before this, uh, let me show you one thing. If we go to the monitoring tab, if we click here, software update points sync status, you will see this is the single SUP I have in my lab environment with the name primary.arnlab.com and it's sync with Microsoft update. Last syncing was yesterday and this got completed and the catalog version is 2 so now let's click on software library click on sync software updates as if you see here the component behind the syncing process the component behind the syncing of the metadata from the microsoft uh, catalog is the sms ws sync manager so if you ever encounter encounter any error during your syncing process so you might need to check this this component help us if this component is healthy or not click on yes so we will go to the monitoring tank and we will see the component so let's look at that component ws sync fgr mm, where is that here is here is my component for this syncing so it's green so it means it's ok and you also need to check your size status it's showing that my reporting service point is in critical so that is not required for my update lab my SCP point is healthy so that's all needed ok now let's check the logs when you click on sync you have need to check the logs we go to program files configuration manager and then logs here the log which you need to check is wssyncmgr.log guys you can see the syncing process has been started <coughs> it's found the SUP here you can see the from which SUP is starting syncing found the active SUP synchronized WSUS so server is this one and uh, it's able to connect to my WS server so it is also very important to check that are you able to connect to your WS server or not and uh, syncing has been started syncing WS server primary So guys the log files for the you need to check on the server is first is wsync mgr let me increase the font wsync mgr dot log this is the most important log you need to check for sync process and the other log you need to check is WCM 
and the last log will be your WS control. This is the logs you need to check on server. This log will mostly tell you regarding your SUP configuration. Details regarding your SUP configuration. And this log will give you details regarding your WS health and connectivity ok so these are the log which we need to check on server ok so our syncing has been started as you can see it's showing you the product and the product and classification here it started to process so what happened actually is our WS server is now connecting connected to Microsoft catalog update and from there it started to download metadata and this metadata will be first copied to your WS your server database and then it will be copied to your site database as you can see the syncing process has been completed done sync SMS with so our sync process has been completed sync succeed so it's been completed so when we uh, when a sync process has been complete what happen is all your metadata information will be stored in this WS database uh, and after that it will be copied to your site database so this is what happen when you are uh, doing syncing ok so after the sync has been completed now how will you confirm that sync process and has been completed the first way is to check the log file inside the log file you will get that the sync process is completed other than the log file how will you check your sync process has been completed <coughs> the, so to confirm your sync process has been completed you have to come to monitoring and you have to click on software update point sync status here you can see the sync status of all your SUPs I have just one so it's showing me the SUP status of my single SUP here you can see this last sync has been completed is now at th this time and uh, you can see the catalog version before uh, I started the sync process my catalog version was 2 now it changed to 3 so it's because something has been modified uh, in the uh, database that's why the catalog version is changed if there is there will be no modification so it will be remain two if you have uh, more than uh, one SUPs you have to make sure your catalog version your database version should be same in all the SUPs okay so after we Arrange the sync process, sync process has been completed the next thing what we need to do is we have to now deploy the software updates by creating the SUG ok so after the sync has been completed you will see the list you will see the metadata here 
which will tell you <coughs> that what this update KB article is, what is the article ID. You click on the properties, you can find the more information, the description of the updates, what is the maximum run time. Now this kind of information you will find here. <coughs> and guys uh, in a company environment what you usually do is when you have such kind of metadata when you have the big metadata you always like to create a filter and for that you uh, you create you add some criteria the common criteria will always be like this you will choose the date released and you will choose the expired you will choose the product like this way so i have saved my criteria i will use that after creating the criteria you have to save it like if i choose date release add you have to save this criteria okay and when you will save this criteria you have to come here saved search and you have to click here and you have to click on your uh, criteria which you have saved so it was mine here you can see the criteria you have to use is the date release you can choose is <coughs> or one month or a three year or three months is depend on company to company what you what you think is best for your company and expired no and the product class product and all the classification so like this wise you have to create criteria and filter your updates okay and here you can see that if I click on uh, if you can see this required tab you can see that all the updates are showing as zero other than the four updates this four update only are showing as required it means required means only this server machines th only this server machine required the updates other than all the my clients window 10 or whatever the version is they don't require these updates it's because these updates have been already installed on my client machines so that's the thing so what you need to do is if you suppose you have to deploy this update so you will click on download and when you download it will be distributed to your DP and a package will be created like this so it will be distributed to your DP and once it will be distributed to DP then you have to <coughs> create a SOG group then you have to create a SOG group and you have to deploy it this is how you will do the uh, deploy the window patch and after you deploy the window patch what will happen is if I switch to my uh, server client if we come here we can see that the uh, updates has been showing in my software center as available because I deployed the updates as available okay so let's open the log files So guys whenever 
you are deploying anything to your software center whether it is uh, application package or you are talking about window update the first log file you always need to check is policy agent just to make sure that your client received the policy only for that okay <coughs> so it's my old uh, deployment if you see here the policy has been downloaded okay and the log file which you need to you che check on client is the first log file which you need to check is always policy agent second log file you need to check is scan agent third log file you need to check is w handler fourth you need to check is windows update fifth you need to check is update deployment and the last log file you need to check is update store so guys these are the only log files you need to check other than this log file there is no need to for you to look into other log files it will confirm you it will confirm the will confirm machine got the policy it will tell you the scan compliance has completed or not it will show you sop point sop point name <coughs> and scan result okay mm, so we will talk later about this log file update deployment it will show you the number of updates you deployed installation status all right and it will show you the state compliance of updates so guys what happen is <coughs> there are three uh, simply or you can say there are two phase of troubleshooting for client okay okay two, two phase of troubleshooting on clients first phase will scanning phase and second phase will be after scanning completed so what happen is when you deploy your uh, sug group when you deploy window updates so what happen will be what will happen will be is like the clients will the client will get the policy okay 
and then they will run a compliance scan compliance scan on the client machine on the clients using <coughs> WUA window update agent to check the client need the updates or not ok guys so here I show you on the server <coughs> on the server I was talking about this required column so this is the thing you might be wondering how your uh, SSM server know this update is applicable or this update is required by any of the server machine so this is done by the scan process so when you deploy any updates uh, to the clients a scan will run and that scan will that scan will uh, run actually just to check that what are the updates and uh, that are required for the machines and that overall scan compliance result that will be first sent to WMI it will be first saved into the WMI and then it will be sent to management point and then management point will send that compliance scan result back to your primary and then you will see the status here so because of the scan only you are able to see this required figure here ok it will be showing you that this uh, update is required by two machines this update is required only by one machine so this is what our scan do ok so the first thing is this and when the client will get the policy they will run a compliance scan on the clients using WA ok and there is a condition if the scan failed if the scan got failed then what happen is what will happen is actually you won't be able to see the updates as you won't be able to see updates in software center it will not visible it will not be there ok because this scan has been not completed that's why the update will not be listed in software center and what are the log files you need to check if your scan has been failed the log file you need to check is only two log files WA handler and windows update these are the two log files you need to check if your scan has been not completed and suppose in the second condition if the scan completed without error without any errors ok then the log file you need to check is always your update deployment update deployment and update store ok guys so the, your, all the log file which I told you earlier about this in a notepad you can categorize your log files according to the face so when you are troubleshooting window updates issue always check that whether the scan has been completed or not if you won't see the update in software center so it is a so you can check your WA handler and window update log file there you can find out this scan has been not completed and find the root cause of that and if you are if you can see the update like this in your software center it means this scan has been completed ok <coughs> so these are the log files you need to check and yeah one more thing guys your WA handler uh, reboot 
Nini don't know it. And this one. Reboot. Nini don't know it. And guys, you are both the log files. Double way handler and update deployment. It will also tell you whether the your client need the reboot after the update installation or not. There is a separate log file for this is reboot coordinator. Reboot coordinator. Okay. <coughs> but actually you don't need to look into this. The uh, reboot status you can see inside this log file itself. Okay guys. So these are the faces. Other than this, there are some common questions might be come in your mind that what are the reasons a scan got failed and what are the reasons that after the scan has been completed the update is still not installed, right? So let me tell you some of the common reasons. Uh, some of the common issues for scanning failed. this some of the common issue for the scanning field is is like your proxy wrong proxy config configuration or firewall issue wrong port config wrong port configuration wrong SUP point in the client registry ok connecti connectivity issue with the SUP server ok for the connectivity issue you need to check is fq dnd sup server name ok and telnet the sup server like telnet SUP server SUP server dot com eight five three zero or if you are using SSL eight five three one okay data corrupted which is stored in C Windows software distribution ok so what happens in when you complete the sync and you deploy your uh, updates the, the your data is first copied into your C Windows software distribution so sometimes is while downloading the data your data got corrupted so what you need to do is you have to rename the software distribution folder ok and how will you do it to rename this folder simply Okay, you have to simply shut down or you can say switch off the so you have to shut down the <coughs> window update service. Okay, window update service. And then you have to rename the software distribution folder.
ओके एंड कॉमन इशूज फॉर द इंस्टॉलेशन इज मे मोस्टली इज लाइक यू आर हार्ड डिस्क स्पेस इशू ओके आर दिस करप्ट और रजिस्ट्री करप्ट सो दिस आर दी कॉमन इशूज ऑफ यूर फेलिंग ऑफ दी और सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट्स और वेदर इज स्कैनिंग और इंस्टॉलेसा सो ना लेट चेक इन टू डी लॉक फाइल्स so this is the update if i come to wa handler okay here you can see this uh, sync has been completed this is what you need to check in wa handler first the syncing is been completed and the other need thing you need to check is the is there any existing your group policy which is overriding your ssm policy okay and the third thing is your sop server this is my sop server based from to which is talking to right now so it's also one of the reason of failed okay group policies so you also have to check this thing so here we can see that we don't have any group policy uh, this is our sop server and this sync scanning has been completed now let's check this log file uh, this uh, sop server in our registry the path for the registry is uh, always machine software policies microsoft windows and then your windows update here you can see my ws server is primary dot arun lab and uh, status server is this and also the alternate url alternate is this so is uh, correct okay and uh, if you find out that the sop server is not right then you have to correct your registry values and then we need to check the next log file is update deployment <coughs> here you can see stored showing you <coughs> telling you that there is assignment it is the deployment id okay this deployment as id one update so here you will see that how many updates you are deploying this is the one updates we are deploying so let's click on install and let's open our log files as you can see things are started to run now as you can see this update 
has been successfully installed. Here if we come to the update deployment log, update deployment log, here you can see a better picture. Here you can see that this is this is the update we just uh, installed service tech update SSU update and here you can see that this update has been start been downloading see so you can see the download progress here percent complete 35 percent 45 percent like this so hmm. It's been installing. How much has been it's been downloaded? Okay, it's now eighty percent. Okay, so as you can see, the installation of update has been started. Installation of update completed. Here yeah, 8,900 percent. So the downloading of the update has been completed. So <coughs> what happened is this uh, metadata is first downloaded to your software distribution folder. Here, software distribution. Okay. So what you need to do is first you need to go into the services and stop your window update service and rename this folder to something like software distribution old or whatever you like. Okay, so this is one of the troubleshooting step. And if you are troubleshooting on Windows 10 client, you uh, you can also use your window update troubleshooter. It is a uh, Microsoft tool to troubleshoot window update issues. So that is a very good tool. You can use that also. Window update troubleshoot tool. Okay, this update has been installed. Now check this our uh, update deployment log file. Is our W handler. Here you see this uh, scan has been completed. This one, this installation of our update completed. What happens is when your update has been installed, a scan a scan will again run to check the updates has been installed or not. So it's done that. Uh, let's check update deployment log. Here you can see. The updates has been uh, successfully installed, and you can see this thing. This system don't need the reboot. No reboot required. So this is thing. The the reboot information you will get inside your update deployment log as well. Okay. Okay, so it's been completed. The uh, other log file which I was talk telling you, the CCM logs, update store. Guys, this update store is where this log file is very important. Okay, means it will tell you the compliance state, means the update has been installed or not. Sometimes what happens is you install the uh, updates on your client successfully and it's showing as installed like this. Okay, this has been installed. But when you check in your primary, it will be still showing as required for the client. So you got confused that the update has been installed on my client and uh, on your server is still showing you as required. 
so for that reason you first need to check this log file it will give you a clear picture if you see here you will see this is this update which we deployed service tech update right if you see the status just lo look into the status missing 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 it's still missing 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 and when the update got successfully installed you see the status change installed this is what we need to look into if the status was still missing it means your software uh, update is not installed properly but when you see this uh, status installed it means everything is right from your client end so what could be what could be the reasons what could be the reason that your servers uh, are still showing the update as required so basically the reason for this is <coughs> the reason for this is like your status message message okay it the means that your primary didn't got the status message yet or your status message got corrupted okay so this could be the reasons and the last reason is that reboot is pending so these are the reasons for by which the update will be installed but still it will be so so as required for this you just have to wait and if your status message uh, got corrupted there are some uh, sql sql queries are out there on the net they will reset the compliance state okay they will reset the compliance state of your sog so you need to run those uh, sql queries and uh, they will resolve this issue and if the reboot is pending just reboot the machine so is updates so guys these are the this is all the uh, troubleshooting for the window update you can look into okay so make sure the uh, scanning failed issue like uh, proxy issues group policy or return firewall issues wrong port configuration wrong sup in the client registry connectivity issues you have to fq fq dn the sup server name and telnet the sup server like telnet so it means you have to telnet your sup server with this and it should give you a response if you are not getting any you are not getting any response with the telnet it means your connective connectivity is with your sup server is not right and you have to work into that so this is all terrible sorting and the logs file you can do on your client so thank you for watching my this in my next video i will come up with the amazing troubleshooting for you guys